All right, boys and girls, welcome back. Thursday e-learning for social studies. Uh, yesterday, I gave you a couple of questions. Uh, one of the questions was, why do you feel that uh, the colonists need to make an, a militia or an army? Uh, the reason was they knew that their disagreements with Britain weren't going to be resolved, uh, and it was time to fight. And British soldiers were already over in the colonies, and uh, if they didn't do something about it, things weren't going to change. So they had to start making their armies to be ready to fight them. Um, with that, uh, we are moving on. Um, we're going to talk about Lexington and Concord today. These are two cities in the colonies. Uh, and we'll talk about what happened. Again, the militias were formed. The armies are ready. Uh, what happens next? So colonists in Massachusetts quickly formed militia units or armies. They were called Minutemen because they were said to be ready to fight at a minute's notice. Uh, so the colony's army were called the Minutemen. Remember, what were the British soldiers called? I'll give you a hint. They had these nice red jackets on. Y'all remember? Uh, the red coats? All right. British takes action. In April 1775, General Gage heard that Samuel Adams and John Hancock were meeting in Lexington. Now, this isn't Lexington, Kentucky. This is Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, Gage also heard that the Minutemen had weapons in nearby Concord. He sent over 700 British soldiers to Lexington and Concord. They planned to arrest the two leaders of the Sons of Liberty and take their weapons. Uh, so General Gage was the British general. Uh, John Hancock and Samuel Ad Adams, they were members of the Sons of Liberty. Uh, General Gage heard about these weapons. He was just going to send them over, uh, the British, sneak in to, and arrest them and take their weapons, and that way it would be over. Well, there was another part of the story that happened. The British wanted their march to Lexington to be secret. However, Paul Revere, another member of the Sons of Liberty, found out about the British plan. He got on his horse and rode to Lexington ahead of the British to warn Adams, Hancock, and the townspeople there. So Paul Revere, somehow he heard about the British plan to go and arrest the two and take their weapons. And he's like, mm -mm, that's bad news for me. So he got on his horse, outran them, got there first, and warned them. So when the British arrived in Lexington, the Minutemen the colony's army, were waiting. The leader of the Minutemen, John Parker, shouted, Don't fire unless fired upon. But if they mean to have war, let it begin here. So what he's saying is the colonies, the colonist army, the Minutemen, were standing there when the British soldiers arrived. The colonist leader, John Parker, said, hold your fire. But if they fire, it's on. No one knows which side fired first. Was it the British? Was it the colonists? But shots rang out. Eight Minutemen were killed and several others were wounded. The British then marched to Concord to find weapons stored. Oh, what did I do here? There it is. Oops. To find weapons stored there. But they had already been moved. Uh, remember, Paul Revere went ahead. They said, hey, they're coming for the weapons. So they moved them. They weren't there. Um, again, nobody knew who, who fired first, but the there was a battle. It started, uh, eight, minute, went, eight minute men were killed and other people were injured. And then they kept on walking and they were heading to Concord next. A revolution begins. As the British returned to Boston, the Minutemen fired at them from nearby woods and fields. 
By the time the British arrived in Boston, 73 soldiers had been killed and 174 wounded. Fewer than 100 colonists had been killed or wounded. The poet, Ralph Waldo Emerson, later called the first shot at Lexington, the shot heard around the world. The fighting that day moved the colonies closer to becoming the United States of America. It was the beginning of a long war called the American Revolution. Sometimes you'll hear it called the Revolutionary War. A revolution is a sudden, complete change of government. Uh, basically, they, uh, the colonists have given up on the British government. They were not being fair. They were not being reasonable, and they were tired of it. And so uh, they decided to fight back. And this was the start of that. Uh, the colonists wanted to be on their own. They didn't want anything to do with Brit Britain anymore. And so we are now in the American Revolution or the Revolutionary War. It's called different things. Um, I need you all to go um, to Schoology. I got a couple of questions for you. Uh, one of them is going to be about this. Uh, why do you think Ralph Waldo Emerson uh, later on, when he wrote about this event, the first shot, why did he call it the shot heard around the world? Why do you think that? Why would Ralph Waldo Emerson say that first shot? And they didn't know who fired it. Was it the British? Was it the colonists? But it was considered, considered the shot heard around the world. That's one of your questions. All right. Uh, hope you all enjoy this. We're going to be in the American Revolution. Uh, I think you know who wins. I hope you know who wins, but we're going to go figure out how that group won. Was it the British wanting to keep America as Britain controlled, British controlled, or was it the colonists that were going to make it the United States of America? If you don't know who won, oh, I don't know what to say. I'm starting to get a headache. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Uh, Anyway, hope you all have a good weekend, uh, and we'll jump back into it next week. See y'all.